In this video, I'm going to show you how to turn a signature into an SVG file. Around Christmas, this time of year, I see a lot of requests for people wanting their father who passed away, their signature turned into an SVG file. And it's pretty simple to do. What I did was I took a photograph of my name that I had written on a white piece of paper with a black sharpie and then I uploaded it to my computer. So once you have your signature or your note um, uploaded, you can get started. So go to File, Import, find your signature, click on it, open, and this box is going to come up. Just click OK. Now my file, when I take pictures with my phone, is very large. You may see up here at the top that Inkscape is not responding. Just give it a few seconds and it will come up. Once it does, you want to click on this little lock right here and lock it. It's in between your width and your height. And then highlight your width or your height and change it to four or five, and change it to inches, and hit enter. Well, inches, four inches, enter. Now you're gonna have to scroll out to find it. You can do that by the wheel on your mouse or hitting the minus key on your keyboard. Mine is rotated, so I'm going to click on this button right here, rotate selection 90 degrees clockwise, and then I'm going to go to Path, Trace Bitmap. When this box comes up, leave everything here the same and uncheck Smooth, uncheck Stack Scans, and check Remove Background. It may be sideways here and not here, and that's okay. Click Update and then click OK. Once you see a box form around your signature, you can go ahead and close this box out. Left click on that, grab it, bring it over. That is your path. If you look down on the bottom, it tells you. Left click on your image, make sure it's your image. It will tell you right here on the bottom and hit delete. This here is your SVG file. You can take this into Design Space or whichever program you're using <clears throat> that um, uses SVG files and it will cut the signature. Now, if you zoom in, which you really should do, you can see that I have horrible jagged lines, okay? And over here, I have a hole you're going to want to get rid of that stuff. So to get rid of a hole, go to your node editing tool. It's right underneath your selection arrow. Left click on that, and then it's going to bring up all your nodes that form the path for your signature. So zoom in and left click and drag a box over the nodes that form the hole and hit delete, and that will get rid of them. Now all these other nodes, one good way to get rid of a lot of them, go to your selection tool, see how many nodes you have. I have 1,629. Cricut is not going to like that, and most cutting machines won't. So you need to simplify it. You can select your signature, go to Path, Simplify, and that will lower the nodes significantly as you can see I only have 87 now instead of a 1600 um, it may alter it too much if that's the case do a control the letter Z is in zebra to undo it or you can go to edit undo and then you're gonna have to do it manually so you click on your node editing tool right here underneath your selection arrow, click on your name, and 
you're going to want to get rid of a lot of these nodes. You want to keep your corner nodes, your curve nodes, um, so that it doesn't alter your signature too much. Okay, but you can left click, drag, and drag over those nodes, giving Escape a second because there's a lot of nodes in there. Once they turn color, then you can hit delete on your keyboard. You're going to have to give it a second. Now, that looks pretty good, but it altered this part right here. So you can grab this and kind of fix it, smoothen it out. Um, to get these handles, you want to make sure that this button right here is highlighted. Show Bezier handles of selected nodes, okay? Um, then you just go around and you delete as many that as you can that, you know, doesn't alter your signature too much. As you can see, it's not really changing it too much. It's smoothing it out, but it's not changing the shape of it too much. There, it did right there. But you can adjust that, okay? So once you've got it adjusted and you've got, you know, a hundred or under nodes, then you can go ahead and save it. So go to File, Save As, find a destination, give it a name, and save it as a plain SVG and hit Save. And now you can take this into Design Space or whichever program it is, and it will cut it. Um, around Christmas time, people will put signatures of people that have passed away in the family onto Christmas ornaments. Um, there's a lot of ideas, and a great source for ideas is Pinterest and Facebook groups. So I hope this has been helpful and you'll join me in my next video.